So in this week's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the current real estate market again. I did a couple videos in the last few months about the market, and we're still getting a lot of comments and questions. And we finally got our MLS puts out a year-end review with all the stats from all the towns and the counties in Northwest Montana and Western Montana. Uh, we're going to focus on Northwest Montana in this video and show you that everything we've been talking about seems to be coming true. And if you're thinking about buying or selling this year, you don't want to miss this. I think we have a pretty good idea of what's coming and what to expect in 2023. So let's go take a look at that report. So here it is. This is the report I was telling you guys about, and it comes out every year, and it, it's a totally detailed report, and they take all of the stats from Northwest Montana and break them down into all of the different categories, as I'll show you in this video here. And it covers Flathead, Lincoln, and Lake Counties, which is, as you know, the northwest side of Montana. It includes the Flathead Valley, uh, down to Polson, and then all the way over to Libby and Eureka, up on the Canadian border. So let's get into this here a little bit. And I wanted to say also, like I touched on earlier, I have done videos in the past and I always get people complaining and arguing about, you know, they're watching the news and they're watching all the doom and gloom. And we're not, we are a different beast. Uh, we are not Kansas. We are not, you know, the middle of Arkansas. We are Northwest Montana, people want to come here. It's beautiful. We have the national parks. You guys know it's why you're watching these videos. So when you see the news and they're telling you about all the, this crash and all the doom and gloom, this is not happening um, in our area. I'm not to say it's not true in some areas, but lo real estate is hyper local and our area is very different from the rest of the country. So if you guys want a copy of this report, I will, uh, my email's down in the, in the notes. Just send me an email and I can send you a copy of this. So if we start on this page right here, they just broke down the new listings, pending sales, closed sales, and inventory of homes for sale. And you're going to say, oh, look, Will, see, you're wrong. Look at things are dropping. Well, sure, but it's a direct correlation to last year when the interest rates went up Things did slow down uh, as far as sales go. And the biggest thing that you'll see right here is our inventory is only, uh, this is at the end of the year, was 709 properties, uh, which if you look back before the pandemic, we were over 1, 1,300 in 2018 in, our, in this area. And so that's obviously going to slow down sales because there's not as many things for sale. The other thing that we're seeing is because interest rates went up a little bit, some people are choosing to stay in their house and that's why there's less homes on the market and that's reflected in these numbers right here. And you can see they break down, you know, all the different cities in the area and county wide. So you'll see that Flathead County was uh, down 8.9% in listings from 2021 and it was down 33% in pending sales from 2021. Uh, but you can go through each town and see, you know, the individual stats. Closed sales are down. Again, it's because of the inventory is so low. This is totally different from 2008. And there's still plenty of demand here because the inventory is so low. This is my point here. The median sales prices have been going up. And it started uh, in 2018 at 300,000, and now it's all the way up to 590 for the median sales price. And in some of these towns, just you know, year over year, they're all increased. And even with the average sales price, they've all increased, and some of them have increased immensely. It's a little uh, West Glacier looks funny that it's up 100%. That's just because there were way fewer listings in West Glacier. So that's what kind of skews that number 
year over year for that local market. But you will also see down below here that the days on market are starting to go back up. Back in 2021, they were it was 48 days. Basically, the minute you put something on the market, it'd go under contract and it would sell. Now that is doubled. Uh, it's 95. But again, because there's so few homes on the market, anything good that comes up still sells quickly. And that's also keeping the uh, prices higher than they're calling for on the major market media where they're saying that prices are going to tank and plummet and, you know, hang on and don't buy because the prices are going to drop by 50%. I've seen some reports, but again, that may be true in Topeka, Kansas, but it's, I would be shocked if that's true here. And I started doing these market videos a couple years ago and I was saying the same thing and people were kept calling for this crash and I just don't think it's going to happen. So as we continue through here, this, uh, this page goes through the average days on market. And again, you can see it's definitely gone up last year from 2021. The median sales price, this is again what I kind of showed you on the last page there. It's just an upward trend all the way. You can see even the percent of list price received, it's gone down a little bit. That's because what we're seeing a lot of as well, and I've talked about this, is people are thinking that uh, you're going to get the same price right now that you would have would have received last year or in 2021, but it's just that's where it's a little different. And let's take you over to this chart here. This is a different one from our same MLS, and it just like I've been saying, it's kind of plateaued at the end of... Uh, the prices have plateaued at the end of 2022. And I feel that's going to continue for the next few months. But then in the springtime, I see it's going to be kind of back to normal where we get a bunch more houses on the market and more sales, obviously, with more homes on the market. And I think the prices are going to stay pretty steady. They may rise a little bit with the inventory. I think we're going to, for most of this year, we're going to plateau is my prediction and we'll see how that works out but back to this main report uh, this page talks about bedroom count and the and the prices on the different bedroom count i'll kind of skim past this this was interesting i don't know where they where or why they pulled this number but uh the amount of homes for sale that are one hundred and twenty one thousand nine 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 or less uh is <laughs> way down here like 1% of homes for sale are at that price. So anything you can find at that price is either going to be a tiny, tiny little condo or a total fixer upper. Um, I haven't seen a house for that price in quite a while. So again, I'm not sure why they threw this in here, but it's here. So I thought I would talk about it. And then when we get to the end here, this is just the area overviews and it goes through every town and county that this report covers and it shows the closed sales, the change, uh, the new listings and the um, percent of list price received. But back to what everyone's interested in is the historical median prices. As you can see from 2018, Flathead County was at 315,000 and now it's up to 625. That is a 98% change. Uh, it's just the pandemic totally blew up Northwest Montana. For those of you waiting for it to go back down to the 2018 prices, I'm afraid you're going to be waiting for an awful long time. I just don't see that happening. There's just too much demand and too little inventory right now. And even if a whole bunch of builders decided to, you know, build another 10,000 homes, it's not going to happen overnight. So this is going to continue. So if you're looking to sell and you're realistic with your price, there's still good demand uh, around the valley and around Northwest Montana. But if you're trying to get prices that you could have gotten back in 2021, it's just not going to happen. But if you've owned your house for a while, I would find it hard to believe that you're not going to make a few dollars on it. So you're in a good position. And as far as the interest rates go, 
like I said in a video a while back, you should uh, date the rate and marry the house. So if you find a house, so what that means is if you find a house you really like, buy it. The rates will probably come down at some point, and if they don't, you can lock in where they are now. I don't think they're going to go much higher than they are now. Uh, it, they're just going to bounce around uh, in this area, is what I've heard, what I've been told for the next year. Aside from some major weird happening, uh, we're kind of, this is the new normal. If you find a house that you like, I would jump on it because, as you can see, these prices are not, they're not dropping. If you're if you're waiting around, I don't see them dropping. And I heard a guy speak the other day, and he had a good point. Within the last 30 years, there's never been a, I think he said, five-year period where, home, where values go down. They've always gone up. They may slow down. They may go down for a year or two. But if you're looking to buy something and stay in it for a while, you're not you're not going to lose money. If you're looking to flip something, sure, uh, you may not you may break even or maybe even lose a little bit uh, within a year's time. But anybody that's looking for a, a house they're going to be in for five to ten years, you're going to be just fine. There's always going to de be demand up here. They're not building any more mountain towns. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like a copy of this uh, report, I'd be happy to send it out. Just go ahead and email me. There's a, Our address is right here at the end of the video, as well as down below. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.